EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Today, we've got an NFC South matchup as it'll be the New Orleans Saints taking on the Atlanta Falcons. set to do the honors and we are underway from Atlanta from his end zone here's Rashid Shaheed and he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee maybe a yard shy of there at the 24 Across Georgia, it's Alvin Kamara. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Now it's the veteran Jamal Williams. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. Eight yards there on the carry, and now they're left with a much more manageable third and three. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot. And now off to the races, down the right side. Now he's free at the 35. He may go. Touchdown, New Orleans. Alvin Kamara, 69 yards. And the Saints need just three plays to go down and take the early lead. Will Lutz on for the point after. And it's good as the Saints have a 7-0 lead. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Taken at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. Ready. Falcons first and 10 here as Ritter gets them ready. At their own 22. They're going to start to drive here on the ground with Patterson. And not much doing there. Maybe a yard up to the 23. You know, it's not just all athleticism from defensive linemen. Let's give them a little credit for their football intelligence as well. Read and react by them. Understood the play call and stacked it up and stuffed the run. The throw over the middle taken in. That one good for 26 and a first down. First and ten, it's Patterson. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. That's good, the completion there for seven yards. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. 
was not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. On first down, going back to Patterson. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. But that run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through, pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now, saying, we got it going, boys. Let's keep it going. On second down, Ritter. He's got Smith here. Seven yards there at a first down. Well, this has certainly been a nice drive with the way they've spread the football around. Here, they even get the fullback involved in the passing game. That's got to cause a lot of consternation on the defensive side. You've got to cover him, too. That makes things really difficult. And now the throw here is incomplete. And with that, we come to the end of the first quarter of play. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. On second down, a run with Patterson. And a good game here of nine from the 19 down to the 10. Heavy set out there on third and one. Looking to throw it here. Ritter. And this is going to be incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. Going for it on fourth down. It's Ritter. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. The Falcons go for it, but it doesn't work out. And this 11-play drive is going to lead to nothing on the scoreboard. They start the drive on the ground. Kamara. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. But from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Flushed out right. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over at that time, but it's going to lead to third down. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. He'll get 15 and a Saints first down. Kamara up the middle. And he'll scratch out a yard up to the 30, and that's all. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Ball on the 30 now. Here's a second and nine. Car going to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. And he searches for four yards here to pick up the first down. To throw its car. They'll set up the screen now to Kamara. That he's brought down short. Two yards there, needed four. Yeah, and on third down, you know those pass rushers, they're in the starter's block. They're just waiting for the pistol to fire. You can almost hear the defensive coaches on the sideline pre-snap. Watch the screen, watch the screen. Really good job there of identifying it and making the play to force fourth down. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. It doesn't pan out, and that will force a 
Turnover on downs. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Out of the gun, a run with Patterson. And a decent game there as that takes us to the two-minute warning. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Ritter will set up to throw it. That's Cordero Patterson holding it in. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Now Ritter to throw on first down. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Running left, here's Patterson. And he's swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that one, no gain, so they're left with still 10 to go on third down. Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times, and what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. And the Falcons are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They'll run with Patterson. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Cordero Patterson, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Falcons are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. No going for two. They'll kick the point after. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So only even at seven now as they kick it away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And with a little under a minute to play, they may be looking to pick up some yardage here, maybe try and come up with a field goal to seize the lead before intermission. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now Carr on the move to his left. And this won't be enough to pick up the first, a gain of two, third and one. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. Once again, they'll keep it on the ground. And this will wind up as Saints first down as he's got this past the 35 to about the 37. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Carr. Eluding the pressure right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that is incomplete. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. That's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Throwing now his car out to his left. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. And that's the knowledge you gained from being in this league for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. That's a smart move to throw it away. Face of third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now Carr. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away and that brings up fourth down. One first down here and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation.
straight incompletions. They don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on fourth. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. He is going to find Hill here. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. The kick by Lutz is good, and that will do it for this first half. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. A good, tight football game thus far. 10-7 to score as we resume action on EA Sports. Patterson going to bring this out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either, so certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. And this will be a Falcons first down as good running gets him to about the 44. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Ritter. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Out of the gun, here's Ritter. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. Just work with me a second here, because in my lifetime, seeing how quarterback percentages have changed in throwing the football, I mean, back in the good old days, if you were around 50%, you were doing okay. But now, you need to be 65 to 70% to be considered an elite quarterback. And in this ball game, it feels like we're playing old school, right around 50%. Yeah, he's under 50%. He needs to start. Uh, rifles one, and it's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Paulson Adebo. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. The first half did not go their way, and that's not going to help matters at all. An interception here on the opening drive of the third quarter. Obviously not what they were striving to accomplish, but you know who's really upset on their team? The defense. Already trailing. They're going to be counted on to try and hold that score at least where it is. And Camaro with a carry there on first down as he works his way forward for a pickup of four. Well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. So after the run by Kamara, now another first and 10. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. Down to the 25. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Now Carr escaping the pressure right. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Carr can beat you in a lot of ways. The scramble there, a perfect example as he gets the first. I don't think that run was anything that was designed, but when his reads were blanketed as he went through his progressions, 
All that was left was for him to run and try and pick it up himself. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And he stopped immediately there. Bud Dupree, a former first round pick, in on the stop. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game. Second and ten. Carr. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball. And we see yet another errant throw as a result. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. Here's Carr to throw. And probably the wise decision there. No one open. He just throws it away. And that keeps the field goal on the table as it's fourth down. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. The kick by Lutz is good. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13 7. Well, whatever was said in the locker room during the break must have worked. They forced the turnover. They didn't get the touchdown, Charles, but it does translate into three points to begin this second half. Exactly as they discussed in the locker room at halftime. Get some points to get things kick-started. Now start your half off with some momentum. Give you something to build on for your next possession. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Second down throw coming for Ritter. Got a man. It's Patterson complete. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Falcons on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This time it's third and three. They'll run with Patterson. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. 79 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. First down, here's Ritter. And he'll complete this one to Patterson. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. 17 more yards. They had 17 on the previous snap as well. So in Saints territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Here's Ritter. Oh, no, he lost the football. And this is picked up by the Saints. And he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. The pocket collapsed around him. I know we talk about it a lot, but a QB has to have that sixth sense, doesn't he? He really does. And I know of one team at one point was training their quarterback with that time frame. And any time he didn't get rid of the ball within this, the right amount of time, they would blow a horn or blow a whistle to show him this is what that time is, just what you're talking about, training him to understand this is the mount you have, make sure the ball's gone. Didn't happen in this case. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? Eva, make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. 
fourth quarter down to the final two minutes and we've got a one score game. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use in the final stages. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. To throw his car. Flush to his right. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. I thought at first he tried to run, but he just kept buying time to his right. Finally, nothing there. He wisely gets rid of it. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to perhaps salt this one away. The kick by Lutz is good. And now it's a two-score game at 9, 16-7. So that one's CD going to make the road back a lot more difficult. Oh, there's no doubt about that. You know they were praying on the other sideline for a miss because now, as you pointed out, a very difficult road. Down two scores. You don't just need a touchdown. You need a chain of events to go your way. You've got to score, somehow get the ball back, and score again. The odds of that happening, not great in your favor. This fielded right at the goal line. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. Cordero Patterson on the loose. And he'll bring it back all the way. Touchdown, Falcons. Two-point conversion attempt still to come. Ritter looks to throw it. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You, you establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage, put your heels on the goal line at worst. If they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you. And now looking at the clock here, they do have two timeouts, but even if they force a three and out, they're going to have very little time remaining. So that means they've got to be aggressive and find a way to knock the ball free. They've got to come up with it because they can't just rely, as you noted, on using their timeouts and getting the ball back. They might not have any time to mount an attack, even if they do play it that way. Get the football. That's their mantra. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And he'll get it inside the 35. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. Another run on second down, trying to cover up. And he'll get down to about the 26-yard line. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And he will have a Saints first down. 